going to demonstrate how to stitch a woven pico in this particular video. And this just is a stitch that makes this really neat triangle shape. It does include needle weaving and it adds some great texture and dimension. These can be either freestanding or they can be attached like the one I've done here. And they can be taller or wider. You just need to make sure that you have a pin or a needle long enough for you to anchor your threads. So I'm going to show you how this works. You're going to, you want to make sure you have a nice long thread as well because you want this to be a continuous weaving and it's really hard to pick up and start over if you run out of thread. So you're going to come up on one side of your needle and however or your pin and however much of your pin is in your fabric, this is about the size of your pico. You come up on one side and you're going to tuck your thread around your pin and come down the other. So the pin is basically going to sit in the center of your pico. You want to make sure you try to line up your bottom stitches here where you're coming in and out. And then the, the other important thing is you need to have um, an uneven number of strands to weave around. So I'm going to do three, one on each side and one in the center. Um, you can do five, you can do seven. It depends on how wide you want your pico to be. So then you want to come up right next to your needle in the center. going to wrap around your, your pin again and then you're going to start weaving. So you're going to start by going underneath and I'm going to use the back of my needle to do this. Underneath and then over and then underneath again on one side. And then you're going to go back the other way going over under and over. So you're going to alternate back and forth. And I kind of push my stitches, push my thread up as I weave back and forth. So each time you're, you're going to go in the opposite, over, under, over, and then under, over, under. You want to make sure you don't Pull your thread too tight. Um, you can, it'll just change the shape of your pico and just try to push your, your weaving up so it uh, there's no holes in it. So as you get close to the end, you can see it's a little bit tighter to get your needle woven back and forth. You want to just do as much as you can. Try to get all the way down so that your spokes are covered and you can pull your needle out at this point if it'll give you a little bit more space. So you can see this is a detached pico. Once you get all the way down, you're going to tuck your, your thread underneath to finish everything off. You can see why you need one long piece of thread to do this. Just keep weaving back and forth. And then when you are ready to finish, you're gonna take your needle, take your thread, and just do your last stitch and kind of tuck it underneath. You 
Sometimes your pico, you can attach the top with a little stitch, with a bead, with any a little French knot. So there's a lot of possibilities, and you can see this shape can be so many different things from um, leaves to petals to feathers on a bird. Um, there are really a lot of options, and you can make it fatter or skinnier. It really depends how you want to use your shape. So hope you have fun with that, and if you have any questions, let me know.